Are you a high school student wondering how you can choose your college major? If so, in this video, we have a really special guest with us today. Lisa Marker Robbins of Flourish Coaching is here. She has helped over 3,500 students choose their college major and future career. Thank you so much for joining us today, Lisa. Thanks for having me, Brooke. I'm excited to be here. So Lisa, why is it important for high school students to be able to choose a college major? Well, myriad of reasons, but let's start with the fact that the average kid changes their major three times while they're in college. And oftentimes then that's gonna extend their time in college. You know, the average student that starts college doesn't have a degree by the time four years is over. The average college graduation rate is 41% have a degree four years after they started. That fifth year of college gets really expensive. Merit scholarships are gone. They've got that loss of future income. So cost is one reason, but I actually, if you don't have a budget, so some of the people that are listening probably are like, well, that's no big deal. I, it'll be fun to stay in college longer. We, you know, we're not on a budget for college. However, you can really limit or eliminate options of college majors. For some majors at some schools, when you don't go in decided on your path. So you don't want to get into college, do all the experimenting. College is kind of like that because it costs money when you're staying there and experimenting. And then discover that you want a particular major, and then perhaps that major is not open for internal or external transfer at a later date. So you've now closed an avenue of what you want to do. So I think it's better to go in and make informed choices on the college by starting out with, well, what career is it? What college major is it that I'm aimed at? So when's a good time for high school students to start thinking about their college majors? If I had my utopian world, which I have decided is not ever going to happen, it would be in the second semester of sophomore year. Now, not every student's ready to have those such future oriented conversations at that time. But I feel like when students start in that sophomore year with the, it's a process, it's, it's not a quick one and done. They're not under the gun time-wise to, to rush through the process of trying to get clarity. And they can just be more relaxed about it overall. It's better for the whole family, frankly. Now, with that said, I find that a lot of juniors can benefit. And then there's those seniors who they get into the applications and the colleges say, to what major are you applying? And what's your second choice major? And they hit panic and go, I don't know. And I got to do the work now. Just a quick plug here before we get to our next question. I just want to remind all of you to head to supertutortv.com if you are looking for more help in the college process. We have a newsletter, supertutortv.com slash subscribe. That's totally free. I'm also starting to teach live group classes. So if you want to work on your college essay, we've got a couple of those coming up soon. And we have some crash courses for the SAT and the ACT as well. Be sure to head to supertutortv.com to find out more. So Lisa, I know this is what everybody really wants to hear. How do you help students figure out this process? What are the steps? So we have a three pillar process. Pillar one is to know yourself deeply. That's going to include stuff by getting really honest with yourself on your academic profile, understanding that your what your behavioral strengths are, your key motivations and your values. So we deeply get to know yourself. So pillar one, know yourself. Pillar two, know careers. That starts with looking at where you as a person align with the careers and researching deeply those careers and then curating experiences around those careers so you can rule them in or rule them out. And once you've done that with a number of careers and you found where you align, and sometimes the students getting ready to pay, apply to college and they're only down, you know, they're down to two or three, they, but at least we've like funneled it down greatly right and sometimes they're to the one at that point then you can know your path by going out and building a list of colleges that can get you to that goal career and that's a key component of building a really good college list great cool can you tell us a little bit more where can students turn to to help learn more about themselves are we talking personality tests like what what is that process? So I do use a personality test. I love the Berkman method. That's the personality test that I use inside my program, Launch Career Clarity. But anything that helps give you insights. You know, I love quizzes. We've created a values board. It's a fun, interactive drag and drop feature. 
having conversations. You know, I have a weekly newsletter and I drop in a conversation cue for families to use during their college planning time. I'm just talking to others, other students, your parents, teachers. So a lot of it can become just through talking about what are my values? What are my aspirations? What's my vision for the future? And those are kind of the things that fall into that bucket of know yourself. Awesome, cool. So, and then one other question too. So once you know yourself, how do students start figuring out what career that self matches to? How do they explore careers? What are some good resources that students can turn to? So for one, the Berkman actually gives them a list that their personality aligns with adults that are already in a specific career. And they're saying, you look a lot like the people who love these careers and nothing like the people who love these careers. So that's where we start inside. But if they just wanna go and find out more about careers, I love the Bureau of Labor and Statistics website, bls.gov. They have an occupational outlook handbook that profiles hundreds of careers with videos, more information, links to offsite resources such as professional organizations. So just for the exploration piece alone, that's an absolutely fantastic website. Even, you know, college close-up visits. So not the typical visit, but go over to the College of Health and Sciences and do a close-up on the majors that they have and ask lots of great questions. Professional organizations for particular fields. Those are some of the top ones that I that we look at. As far as finding that alignment, um, what I help students do is really come across like informational questions that they would ask to vet whether a career aligns with who they are, where they're headed, their motivations and values, those things. So it's not an easy one and done. I mean, we spend a lot of time on planning vacations, buying our next car as a family. And this is a much bigger investment. You know, students only go to school 16,000 hours, kindergarten through 12th grade. That seems like a lot until you discover that the average adult will work 90,000 hours in their career. So this d deserves time and attention. It's not gonna be quick, but those are some of the resources we use to help students along the way. Are there any times that you find that um, the majors that students are passionate about or interested in college aren't necessarily directly connected to their career? And do you ever coach students into, you know, I think for example, I have students who have pursued um, classics as undergraduates and then eventually they want to go to law school or they're into philosophy but that's not where they're going to land they eventually want to get an mba do you ever find students that are passionate about something they want to pursue academically but maybe that's not the the end game for that like is there any space for that or or what are your thoughts there there is i think that's why they really need to be thinking about the careers that they're aiming for. You know, the long-term goal of getting a college degree or even a graduate degree is that career. It's not just about the, the fun experience or the passions. I think our passions can be embraced in many different areas of our life, not always a college degree or a career. So having that goal in mind. Law school, what's cool about law school is if you know that you're wired to practice law, you could get any degree and go on to law school, but you've got to know the career deeply and know if that career aligns with you to know if that's a path. If you wanna be an engineer, a teacher, a nurse, there are architect, you've got to get the degree that aligns with the career. And even what you just said too, college majors sometimes require us to take classes that we'll actually never use in the career. So that's why I think it's key that we're doing career investigation and then backing up into the college major instead of starting with looking at college majors. You know, a nurse does a lot with sciences, but is she really doing a lot of science on a daily basis? No. Great. So I think kind of what you're saying is that whereas maybe a lot of people think of the process sort of what do I need to do right now like okay where do I need to apply to college that's the first thing I have to figure out and then they open up the application they're like oh no I need to figure out my major right and then they're like oh wait I have to figure out a job right that's the order that a lot of people approach it in but your point is that's maybe not the best way to do this I yes it's absolutely not the best way to do it and that's a, that's a hill I die on so it's career back to major, back to college. So Lisa, thank you so much for joining us today. Can you tell us if people wanna know more about you, where can they head to? Our website is the best place, flourishcoachingco.com. 
where we do all the things and we have a podcast college and career clarity that is on our website and on all of the places for podcasts just a heads up as most of you know we always have a blog that goes with our videos so if you want to see links to any of the websites that lisa is talking about we will link to them in the blog that goes with this video you can find the link to that in our description thank you again lisa for joining us thanks for the opportunity brooke if you guys are trying to explore who you are, also be sure to check out our video, What Career Personality Are You? If you are looking for test prep or help with your college essays, be sure to check out supertutortv.com and subscribe to our newsletter, supertutortv.com slash subscribe. We're also on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and of course we have tons of free advice right here on our channel, so make sure you subscribe. Thanks for joining us, everyone, and we'll see you next time. Take care, everyone.